Welcome back to Stony Point Forge and Starbuck Belt Grinders. Today we're going to do a side by side comparison with a uh, two horse, three phase motor hooked up to a 220 volt uh, VFD. The second grinder is a two horse motor hooked up to a Weaver 120 volt VFD. Uh, I was really surprised at the, uh, on the performance of the uh, 110 volt. Really underpowered, but I'll show you guys firsthand. Here's the uh, 220 volt, 280 metal, it's as hard to get on it. I can't even slow it down. Now, on this 110 volt unit. So if you if you uh, only have one or ten volt current in your uh, shop and you want a variable frequency drive, I would suggest going with this uh, two horse DC servo motor. I did a side by side comparison compared to the uh, two hundred twenty volt VFD, and uh, this one I could slow it down a little bit, but I could not stall it. And at the lower RPMs, it wouldn't even slow down a bit. So this would be a, a good option for a 120 volt shop. Both grinders are set up exact the same way. Two horse motor, four inch drive wheel, three inch tracking wheel, two two inch idler wheels. This one same way, four inch drive wheel, three inch tracking wheel, and two inch idler wheels but so I wouldn't even waste my money on this 220 or 110 volt VFD they're both Vivers they're both the cheapest I could buy this one right here was $73 with tax and everything checked to my door this 110 unit was $105 tax and everything shipped to my door Thank you.